for our lesson for today is about common monomial factoring. So when you are dealing with common monomial factoring, you need to use the greatest common factor. So before we factor the polynomials, let's deal with the variable variables first. So for example, we have x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth power. So if we factor x squared, the factors are x times x. x cubed, the factors are x times x times x. And then for x to the fourth power, the factors are x times x times x times x. So when we say common, they should be the same or they should appear from the first, second, and third example. So the factors that appear among the three are x and x. x times x, that is x squared. So if you can observe, x squared in the example is has the lowest exponent. So that is the secret. In dealing with the variables, you get the variable with lowest exponent. Let's have our first example. 6x plus 3x squared. So first, we will deal with the numerical coefficients. When we say numerical coefficients, these are the numbers beside the variables. So we have 6 and 3. Next, you need, you need to think of a number that can divide 6 and 3 and it should be a prime number. What do we mean by prime number? Prime number is a number that has only two factors. These are one and itself. So, for example, we have two. The factors of two are two times one, three. The factors of three are three times one, five. The factors of five are only five times one. So here, the prime number that can divide six and three is three. Then, you divide six divided by three, that is two, and then three divided by three, that is one. Next, let's look at the variables. Which variable has the lowest exponent? Remember, if you only have x, it is understood that it has one as the exponent, okay? So, the variable that has lowest exponent is x. So, you need to divide the variables by x. Next, you write this one, 3, and then x beside it. So, you have to combine the CMF of your numerical coefficients and then the CMF of your variable. Next, you write 2. Beside it is the answer in dividing x divided by x. x divided by x is 1 or you cancel it and it will become 1. Next, x squared divided by x, you need to subtract the exponent. So 2 minus 1, that is 1. So copy x and then you don't need to write 1 as the exponent because it is already understood. Just like 1 here. Here. It is understood that it has 1 beside it. So you don't need to write 1. And then copy the operation of the given loss. So this is the final answer. Let's have our second example. 12x cubed y to the 5th power 
minus 20 x to the fifth power y squared z. So let's have 12 and 20. So 12 and 20 can be divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 20 divided by 2, that is 10. 6 and 10 can also be divided by 2. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And then 10 divided by 2, that is 5. If your answers are already prime and cannot be divided by any number, that's the time you need to stop. Next, let's look at the variables. Which x has the lowest exponent? So that is x cubed. Which y has the lowest exponent? So that is y squared. z is not common factor of the terms because the first term doesn't have z. Next, you need to multiply these numbers. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. And then you write the CMF of the variables beside it. And then you write 3 x cubed divided by x cubed. Cancel. It will become 1 y to the fifth divided by y squared, that is y cubed. Just subtract the exponent and then write 5 x to the fifth divided by x cubed, that is x squared, 5 minus 3, that is 2. And then y squared divided by y squared, it will become 1. And then you copy z. The last step is you copy the operation of the given, which is minus. This is the final answer for this example. Third example, 12x cubed minus 18xy plus 24x. So we have 12, 18, 24. 12, 18, and 24 can be divided by 2. 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 18 divided by 2, that is 9. 24 divided by 2, that is 12. 6, 9, and 12 can be divided by 3. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. 4 can be divided by 2, but not 2 and 3. So, 2 and 3 are already prime number. So, this will be the final step for the numerical coefficient. Next, look at the variables. Which variable is common among the terms? That is x. Which is which has the lowest exponent x cubed or x so x only and then we need to multiply these numbers 2 times 3 that is 6 and then you write the common factor of the variable x beside it parenthesis 2 x cubed divided by x that is x squared, you subtract the exponent. Next, write 3, x divided by x, that will become 1. And then, copy y. And then, write 4, x divided by x, that is 1 also. And then, you copy the operations of the given, we have minus and plus. So this is the final answer for this example. Let's have the last example. 28x cubed z squared minus 
14 x squared y cubed plus 36y z to the fourth power. Let's solve the numerical coefficients 28, 14, and 36. They can be divided by 2. This is 14, 7, and 18. Can we still divide 14, 7, and 18? No, because 7 is already prime number. Next, I want you to look at the variables. So the first one has x and the second one has also x. But the third one doesn't have x. So x is not common factor. So by observing the variables, there is no common factor. So, we don't need to divide the variables. So, we will just write 2 and then 14. Copy the variables of 28, 7. Copy the variables, 18. Copy the variables, and then you copy the operations of the given minus and plus. So this is the final answer.